So you're about to receive an offer from a college coach. But do you really know what type of offer that coach is extending to you? Hmm. Meet me on the other side. What's going on squad? You know what it is. So before we get started, make sure you go and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I drop new videos every single Tuesday. So between now and the beginning of the national signing period, college coaches are reaching out to prospects and extending verbal offers to those prospects that are at the top of their recruiting boards. But did you know that not every offer extended by a college coach is a full ride scholarship? So there are three types of offers that student athletes will receive from a college coach. And remember that all verbal offers are not binding until you actually sign your national letter of intent. So the first type of offer is a full ride athletic scholarship. Now there are only six sports that offer full ride athletic scholarships. Football, men's and women's basketball, women's volleyball, women's gymnastics, women's tennis. The full ride athletic scholarship typically covers the major cost of college like tuition, room and board, books, and other course fees. Remember, the term full ride does not mean for the full four years. Full ride scholarships, like all offers, are one year agreements that may or may not be renewed. The second type of offer that a student athlete can receive is a partial scholarship offer. All of the D1 and D2 sports, other than the ones that I mentioned earlier, are partial scholarship sports. Partial scholarships are pretty much when a college coach has a big pool of scholarship money that they split up amongst the players on their team. Although partial scholarships are not full ride scholarships, they can still cover a big portion of your college costs or very little depending on the school. So for one player on the team, the partial scholarship may only cover the cost of tuition, while for another player, it may only cover the cost of books. The last type of offer that a student athlete can receive is a walk-on offer. Walk-on offers are offers where a coach likes you, but you won't receive any scholarship money from that coach for the first year. Now, there are three types of walk-on offers you can receive. You have a preferred walk-on offer or a PWO, which is when a coach would not give you any scholarship money, but he will reward you with a spot on the roster. Preferred walk-ons can earn a scholarship going into that second season, but nothing is guaranteed. Some student athletes will turn down offers from smaller schools to play at a bigger school as a preferred walk-on. Next, you have the recruited walk-on offer, which is where there's interest from a college coach, but no scholarship money, and you still have to earn a spot on the team through tryouts or summer camp. Finally, you have the unrecruited walk-on offer, which is where a student athlete qualifies for admissions to the school and then plans to try out for the team when he gets there. College coaches never really recruited the student athlete, but it still allowed them to try out for the team. So always understand what type of offer that you get from a college coach so that you can make the best decision on the school that you'll be spending the next four to five years. All right, squad, you know the drill. If you like this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button below. Always, always, always definitely make sure you're sharing it with your friends or your teammates and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching again. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And I hope you learned a little bit more about offers and what they mean. And I will see you guys in the next video.